Hello everybody, my name is Katemo and welcome back for another video of NHL 21 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. Now, in the last video, we went ahead and simulated the entire season, fifth season, uh, of our GM career uh, with the Devils. And we had a fantastic career, uh, fantastic season with Jack Hughes coming up uh, just one point shy above the uh, shy of 100. So we had a, a fantastic season. We also made a couple of trades, uh, traded away Gr uh, Crosby for Backstrom, a clear upgrade for at least this year. It's just a one year contract under him, so we're fine, boys. And also we got Foggle instead of uh, Ovechkin, so uh, Ovechkin for Foggle, boys. Uh, down, uh, it's actually an upgrade because Ovechkin was at an 82 and Foggle's at 84 and I can play Kachuk on the first line. So everything is fantastic for us, I would say. Actually, I could probably switch it up for these two guys as well. Yeah, because the it's a clear upgrade. It's basically the same. Yeah, I could literally play Bjorkstrand in there and play Patrick Kane in there. Now that I think about it, would make a little bit more sense, boys. But um, yeah, here we go. We're we're gonna, we're gonna have a lot a lot of fun, boys. I think uh, we have a fantastic uh, team. Uh, on our end and I think we should be fine for the playoffs. Let's go ahead and start it up uh, We are going to take a look at the lineups for the Philadelphia Flyers, which is the first team we are facing today Hopefully we can really make it far and uh, actually win the cup this time around last year We got cheated on in the actual OT overtime of the Stanley Cup Finals So I need to win the cup. Let's go uh, Adam Henrique with Couturier and Konecki. Konecki. Well, this is actually pretty good. It's a really good line, actually. 88, 88, and an 85. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, this is pretty good. Actually, a bunch of two way fours. I don't know, boys. Don't know if that's going to work out for them. Uh, Farabi, Claude Giroux, which is starting to uh, really, it's literally another um, Crosby for them. So we're good on our end. And they've got Nolan Patrick. So this is a, still a second line that's pretty good because uh, Patrick's going to elevate that line a little bit. Uh, let me see. Two or four playmaker power forward. That could work. That's actually a combination that could work. Uh, Brendan Saad, Frost, and Silverberg. A's, uh, Van Riesdijk, and Dadanov. Okay. Sniper, power forward, sniper. That's not going to work because they've got two snipers in there. And the power forward, you need a playmaker to play with a sniper for sure. So I don't know. Their line's pretty good. Uh, defense, they got a pretty good defense. I'm not going to lie. They got a pretty decent defense. A uh, Provorov, uh, Pulak, Klefbaum. Nothing to be scared of, but still pretty good. And they do have that goalie. They do have Carter Hart, boys, at 88 overall. And he's in his prime as well. So, all right, let's start up the simulation, boys. I think we should be just fine against them. Uh, there's no way as to why we should lose against them. We've got, we had a way better simulation than them uh, in terms of season. We have the best team in front of us. There's a, there we go. We got Anka scoring for us. Uh, yes, they do have Carter Hart. They've got Provorov. So they've got a, a defenseman and they do have a, a goalie. But uh, they don't really have that big time center core. We do. We have all the combinations. So there's no reason as to why we should lose right there. There we go. Adam Marie is going to score for them. Uh, a, a little bit late too. It's very late. That's a momentum shift a little bit. That's not good at all. There we go. But we still score. There we go. Matt Kachuk, first line, scoring for us. I like to see that. There we go. Backstrom, scoring another goal for us. Power play for us. We can't score in the power play. That is not good. But that's fine, I guess. Uh, we're still leading by three goals. A lot. Uh, uh, one more goal and we should be fine. Three goals is fine. A three goal lead is fine, but. Well, a uh, four goal lead would be better, boys. Let's go. We got to make sure to put them down. They're very dangerous. Uh, you never know what uh, can happen with them. I'm kind of scared of the second line. The first line, not so much. Yes, they do have these two 88s, but uh, it's because it's two. Uh, it's three two-way forwards, so there's nothing they can do. Happy Bullen, boys, going to score probably his first goal in the playoffs. Not entirely sure if he actually played in the playoffs before, but there we go. We got a long power play. We're not going to score. Doesn't matter. Because we're going to win our first playoff game. That's what exactly what I wanted, boys. That is exactly what I was expecting. Um, now we're going to move on, as you can see right here. So let's just uh, advance the day. Who are we going to be facing in the second line or the second round? 
We are going to be facing up against... Hold on. Uh, Jesper Brat is, uh, is good to go. Yes, I already put it in there, boys. I forgot to, to look at the scratch players if I had any injured players back. And he was back, so I put him in there. Uh, uh, sure, good enough, because if I didn't put him in there, we could have lost or something. You never know. But um, we're facing up against the Capitals now. This might be, I think, is the one of the best teams, right? The second best team of the league or something like that or the third best team so this is two berserk teams right here facing off against each other in the second round this is going to be rough who are who do they have in their roster i'm cu uh, really curious boys washington capitals they have kuznetsov sebastian ao and arvidsson what the hell oh my god all right so kuznetsov 89 overall playmaker two a fourth sniper Great combination right here. It's actually going to work. Uh, this is going to be a stud first line, boys. Uh, they got Andre Palat. Starts to fall down afterwards, but it's good depth. They really good to have good depth center core. So Palat, Crosby, and Parise, boys. We did trade Crosby to them in exchange for Backstrom. Who's going to prevail, boys? Oh, my God. Now, they still they have Crosby, huh? and we traded him. So that that's very dangerous. We could get in the ass right there uh, by Crosby itself. Ochi, Kreider, Bennett, Vrana, Dano playing on the fourth fourth line. Should play on the second line. What the hell is he doing on the fourth line, boys? Whatever. Playing with Hoffman. Hoffman, which we all know is a great uh, score in this uh, game. Alagison. I don't know what the hell. 79 overall playing on the first duo. Okay. But he's playing with John Carlson. Whatever, I guess. Valenen, Orlov, Coral Myers. So they do have decent defensemen, decent depth uh, defense. And they, uh, yeah, I think they've got a good defense. They got a good defense. Uh, center core, very impressive. They actually have a pretty good center core and they have a good goalie. Uh, another big yikes. This is going to be rough. Samsonava. We got a better goalie than them, but just by one overall. I don't think it's going to make that much difference, boys. I'm scared. Let's jump in it, boys. But I'm super scared. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. I really don't. This is. This could go either way. And they're already out shooting us. Oh, it's over, boys. They're already out shooting us. Seven to zero oh in the shots. What the fuck? That we uh, just got our first shot, and they already are at ten shots. They they're winning by two nothing, boys. It's over. We're getting dominated in this game. We're not even showing up. What the fuck? And I can't catch a break. I go to the Stanley Cup Finals and the next year, every time next year, I just get wrecked right away. Like, what the fuck's going on? I've got a better team. There's no way that should happen, boys. I'm so pissed off right now, boys. I don't even... I don't even want to continue this series. If I keep losing in the playoffs like this, I think single knockoff is really bad for me, boys. Single knockoff is not working out at all. Fucking yay, man. Score a goal or something. Boys, you got the offense. Why are they shutting us down so much? There we go. Happy Bullens going to score one. There we go, boys. D don't give up penalties like that. Well, who's taking penalties, by the way? Who the fuck's... Uh, oh, Backstrom, you're in the first line. You're preventing our first line from playing. A oh, come on, dude. Why is he taking penalties for? Come on, we need another goal. Push, no! Sebastian Ayo, fuck off! Go somewhere else! What the hell? Oh my god! Palat! Alright, well, it's over. It's over, it doesn't matter. Patrick Kane's gonna score for us, doesn't matter. It's too late. Way too late. I, we didn't show up whatsoever. What the fuck happened here, boys? I swear! Now, it's probably because it's a single knockout, I don't know, but it's impossible to win the, uh, the cup, boys. Impossible to win the cup in the NHL games. The newer games is just never going to happen. Fucking impossible. What the fuck? Five years. Three years out of those five years, I've been the best uh, best team in the league. I can't win the cup a single time? This shit is stupid. It's fucking ridiculous, boys. I swear. I cannot stand this shit anymore. Like, come on, man. Can I win the fucking cup? It's, it's really annoying. Assist, whatever. Coach replace. You're getting injured. I don't care about you. There we go. HL playoff done. Who the fuck won the cup now? The Capitals, of course. Makes sense. 
Now we did lose to a strong team. We lost to the Stanley Cup champions again. Uh, we keep losing to the Stanley Cup champions. I swear, man. Fucking Christ. Oh, we're just getting trolled. And of course, Crosby, right? He's going to get the better end of me. I right, trade him for the Capitals. What happens? He wins the cup with the Capitals. You bitch. I swear I'm getting trolled every time. Oh, this is annoying. Chicago is going to get the first round pick. Los Angeles, Minnesota, Florida, uh, Florida, Ottawa, Detroit, Nashville. All right. Detroit's getting uh, two top eight uh, picks right there. Interesting. All right. So skip that, I guess. We're not going to get anything whatsoever. That's why I don't even go for the scouts anymore, boys, because I know it's not even worth it. Uh, Joe Thornton is going to take his retirement, boys. So he's going to retire with a lot of points, actually. A 1,731 He's going to retire by having a, literally, um, I guess, a cup. So he's finished up having a, a cup under his hand. Stanley Cup, boys. Good for him, I guess. All these old timers playing for them. And Backstrom on our hand. So we just lost Backstrom as well. So, all right. You know, I just traded for someone that uh, retired. Crosby did not retire. So that's great. That's always good to know, man. I just got screwed over big time. What the fuck just happened, boys? Uh, Bergeron retired, Eric Stahl, Giroux boys, Kovalchuk, Marchand actually retired. Oh, all right. Then uh, Krejci, uh, Couture, a lot of big time players retired boys. Interesting. Now, uh, defenseman wise, Duncan Keefe, Latin. All right. Suter, P.K. Subban retiring. Shattenkirk, Vlasic, Barry. Yeah, there's a lot of players that actually retired this year. That's kind of crazy. And um, we got Longvis decided to retire, boy. So in the minors, that's what is that was his last year. He finished up in the minors. Uh, had a fantastic season, a career for us overall as our backup. So uh, good luck to you in your future endeavors, uh, Longvis. Uh, Tuka Ross going to retire as well. Ryan Miller, Jonathan Quick, Doomnick, Smith, Alak. Reimer, Stalock, a lot of players, boys. Just for ourselves. Just for ourselves right here. How many did we lose? Uh, the New York, New Jersey Devils. So we lost Backstrom on the front end and we lost Longvist. We, uh, we lost uh, two players, boys. It looks like Backstrom is going to be a coach. So is Giroux, boys. So back, uh, Nicholas Backstrom is going to be a, a, a coach, I guess. And I don't know if we lost anybody, but uh, we'll see uh, after words. Okay, there we go. Simulate everything. Okay, let's take a look at our coaching staff right here. What uh, do we lose anybody? We did not lose anybody, so we're fine on that hand. And everybody's growing, right? Playing uh, in the minors and everything. Everybody's playing uh, is growing uh, over and over again. So that's good for us. It's everybody's growing. Uh, that's perfect for us. Okay, so. That's pretty much uh, that. I think uh, we're ready to enter the draft uh, draft lottery, boys. Uh, I don't see myself having anybody really. So uh, let's enter the draft lottery. We don't. We didn't even have a, a right draft pick. Like, where, how far are we? Twenty seventh round. Like uh, twenty seventh overall. First, uh, the, the draft rounds. Draft lottery is never going to be good for us, anyways. So we might as well forget about it. Uh, we could try and probably move up again. Right, all, we are all, we can always move up, but um, I don't think we're gonna find anybody if we move, even if we move up. Uh, let's just take a look, uh, rookie skaters, I guess. A Langdon or Lengkau, I guess. Maybe I could trade somebody like some uh, some bottom sixes and stuff like that. Maybe I could trade some stuff like that. Uh, there we go, uh, not yet, not yet. Not, not quite enough, boys. I can definitely I think I can get away with it though, definitely. Like uh, top nine, low top nine. Okay, one more prospect, I should be able to do it. Like literally move up by ten. It's a it's a huge move up uh, by ten picks. No, it's not gonna happen. Okay, so I'm gonna have to give up a little bit more right here, I guess, to move up. Uh, I'm guessing uh, we're gonna need to move up all the way here. So this is the next location. Uh, not not even that. That's not even gonna be enough. Lenkow and and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know, boys. This is gonna be rough. Oh, not not uh, not Maselli. Not Maselli. There we go. Let's see if that's gonna work. No, not even. Okay. No, we're not. Uh, 
I think we're moving up, boys. I don't think we're moving up this year. Don't I do not think it's gonna happen. I'm not gonna trade the top so top six just for the 17th round pick. Ain't gonna happen, boys. Yep, nope. We don't have anything. So can't move up. It's it's how it is, I guess. It's just how it is. So we're just gonna simulate first round pick. First overall this year is gonna be Tulala for the uh the Blackhawks, 82 overall medium elite good for them i'm just going to go ahead and simulate all the way to my draft pick let's see uh who they got this year so prostor medium elite zubov uh minnesota wild just missed out on a good player right there Utchins, 81 overall good for the panthers right there tanabi uh, they did update the game as well you can see they finally have the logo of this year uh Aket, all right uh there we go there's a steal for them right there that's good for them the Detroit Red Wings, that is. And uh, we're on our pick. Let's see what we got as an option for our pick, boys. Don't think we're going to find anybody. Uh, there is this guy, Potential Elite. I don't think he is an Elite, actually. But he is. Uh, he does have a comparison. Uh, compares, uh, he does have a, a, a comparison, boys. He's compared to um, uh, Kuznetsov. So that could be good. You never know. Let me just see really quick though for uh, elites. Do we have any uncovered elites? Don't think we do. Yeah, we don't have any uncovered elites so far. Uh, we might have this guy, which he might be an elite. Uh, you never know with him. But uh, I'm just going to go for the safe bet. Because there he is. He does have a cooperation, boys. And I think he should be good. Actually, this guy has a lot of points. Yoshida, boys. We don't know anything about him. He's a... Yeah, he's a right winger. He has a lot of points. Even for a C League, that's a lot of points right there. Yeah, I don't know. I, that's that's kind of remarkable as well. But uh, I think the other guy is a little bit more valuable, boys. I don't know. I think I, I'm going to go for... Yeah, I'm going to go for Yoshida. I'm going to take a chance right here. He looks like a really good one. Looks like a really good one. Uh, medium top 9, 62 overall. Alright, so he's not that good actually. First round pick, medium top nine, boys. We missed out right there. Another medium top nine. So tell me we didn't miss out on anything particular. So far, so uh, not really. We haven't missed out on anything so far on the first round. Let me see really quick. Uh, Malakov, nope. So who was that? Uh, the other guy that I was supposed to go for? I don't even know. Don't even remember the name. But all right. So I think we did all right. Right there. There was a goalie elite right there. So many goalie elites, I can't find the one. The goalie elites are really hard to find. Don't know, boys. I don't know how exactly that works. But they're super hard to find. There's a good one right there, but it's a C-. Um, for the C-, minus, you gotta have at least more points. Oh, well, this guy's actually pretty good. I mean, uh, Waste Kessel could be a good one, boys. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pin him really quick. Waste Kessel. So it could be a good one. This guy doesn't have any points whatsoever. Defensive wise, no minus five. Oh, this guy plus 18 and stuff. Like I'm looking at these guys. Plus 17 is a def a defenseman. There we go. Semenov, boys. Defenseman plus 17. Now I kind of want to go for I I don't know. He was a, a 98, right? I, th I think I, I still got uh, plenty of time, yeah. So I, I want to make sure that I don't make any mistakes. This guy had a couple of a, a points actually, a, 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 a league. Now we're coming up towards uh, the big end of it. I, I'm kind of going to go for, uh, I did pin Kessel, but I think I'm going to go for Siemenov. We're going to take a chance on Siemenov, boys. All right, Valerie Siemenov, please tell me you're good. Oh, he is good, good. Low top four, that's pretty good, boys. That's pretty decent. Uh, did we miss out on anybody here? Nope, uh, there's a top nine, so we got a better pick. Low top six. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, there it is. There he is. I think that's the one, right? Brobovsky. I think that's the one, boys. Uh, let's take a chance on him. Let's take a chance on him. Let's pick him up, boys. Uh, you never know. He might be a low elite. Low top six. All right. So we don't have any bad draft picks per se, but we're not getting these elites players, uh, which we're probably not going to have anymore. It's going to be hard to find these low elites, boys. I, I got to be honest with you all. Okay, uh, goalie-wise, like, is there not any goalies whatsoever? We're not going to find any goalies. How's it going right now? Uh, Ellison, there we go. There's a good goalie right there, but E-League, though. That's kind of garbage. 
That's kind of garbage, boys. E League, you don't want to take that. I'll take a chance. I'll take a chance on Ellison. Uh, although, no, he's 20. He's 20 years of age, though. See, that's the problem. He's 20 years of age. That's why I don't know. I don't want to take a chance on a 20 years old, boys. Uh, ain't gonna happen. I'm not gonna take a chance on that. Uh, there's gotta be. There's gotta be something. I haven't figured out anybody that's really popping up of my eye right now. Uh, there is this guy. There we go. He's got some points, but D my D league. It's not not gonna happen, boys. I don't have anything on these guys. Really, the, these two goalies. I don't have anything. C league, uh, A plus league for this goalie. So five years, five years. Uh, we might yeah, try this guy out. A seven, 19 years of age though. I don't know about that. 19 years of age, fringe starter. Garbage, garbage boys. We're not gonna find anything. It's just not gonna happen. Draft day is so hard to find anything whatsoever. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, do, can we find anything whatsoever? No, this guy's garbage. I'm gonna just take chances on goalies. You never know, you might find somebody. Nope, fringe starter. You're not gonna find anybody in there, I guess. Uh, I, yeah, you know, you never know. You can find some goalies late, I guess. But uh, I can't get lucky with goalies. I can't find one uh, like this guy. Not gonna be good enough. I not, not even go for him if he doesn't have like good enough stats. Like I don't know anything about these guys. I literally don't know anything about these guys. Whoever has got the most points, I guess I'm gonna go for him. Uh, at least it's a A plus. But no, he's got like. A plus, but he's got no stats whatsoever. I'm I'm gonna just go for uh, Kim, the first the one that they uh, they give me. There we go, first one they give me. It's a top nine, so we're fine. All right, as long as it's not bottom sixes or top seven, we're fine, boys. It's just a uh, French starter is basically that type, though. We gotta be careful about that one. Uh, do we have any goalies? Not really. Uh, this guy, my garbage, really. Like, do we have a nay that's actually pretty good? A plus, no points. Like, come on, really? We're just gonna pick up a bunch of A plus players right there. Nope. D minus. I mean, this guy Plekanov. I guess I could try and go for him. Let's try and go for him, boys. There we go. Top nine. My God, I'm not gonna find anybody. It's just not gonna happen, boys. Like, like it's just too hard. So I'm not even trying anymore. Not even trying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Ellison, even though he's 20 years of age, boys. Ah, fuck me, man. Uh, he's a fringe starter, of course he was, and of course I missed out on an Elo Elite, because why the fuck not? Ah, oh, I can't catch a break, boys. Uh, this is just my luck, I guess. This is just my luck. I cannot catch a break. I can't get these players, these stud players. I, I just can't get them. Uh, there's gotta be an A, a, a player or something. Who's the most valuable one? There's a 14 uh, a minus right there. There we go. This guy right there, Derek with 15 right there, could be really good for us. 19 years of age though, not gonna happen. Uh, Carl, we don't know anything about him, and uh, no, we got minuses right here. Actually, this we got this guy right here. Last chance, boys. Let's take this goalie right here. Back up. Are you serious? Is there no? like elite goalie left or something what the hell anyways uh this is a basically a bust another bust draft year thinking i'm just gonna let the ai do the draft pick at this point because uh i'm just losing my time right now looks like all my coaches are due to get um resigned boys let me do that our boys went ahead and uh tried to offer some bunch of contracts to my scouts and my coaches so we'll see how that ends up being uh, a thing. Uh, let's take a look at our roster now. It's time to uh, put the contracts into situation. So what are we going to do with this? So we do have Jack Hughes finally grew. So he's not an 88. He's finally in the 90s. Good. Good for us. So he's a 91 overall now. And also we do have Abby Bolin. Right. Big time replacement for Backstrom, I guess. Even though he's a sniper and not a playmaker. Still great player. And we already know he's a score like big time. And so uh, we've got uh, these two good studs. So one, two, three right there with Hutchins. That's our third player. And we need a fourth player. Now Jenner was our depth forward. I'm going to wait on him just a minute. Uh, one, two, three right there. And we've got nothing else in the minors. So I'm just going to get rid of you. We don't need you. Uh, Taken off. Uh, sure, why not? I'll just re-sign you. There we go. Just re-sign you, buddy. 
and that's that so that um, puts us at four players and miners as well and okay so i'm gonna need a center i'm definitely gonna need a center boys that is one thing that is for true so we're gonna be shopping for a center in the free agency which is good because we can just upgrade our team even further if we can find a good center and stuff like that would be really great for us uh left wing wise what do we have so left wing we do have our one left wing which is uh kachak boys moved up as well he's a 90 overall now good so fogel doesn't want to come back he does not want to come back boys i'm not even going to bother with him if he doesn't want to come back i'm not bothering boys we have uh, jesper brett as well he's still in there so we have him so we got two uh left wingers now jesper brett is a playmaker good uh what about you healers uh, yes, I do want you back because you are a playmaker and you're pretty great for us. You've been doing a good, decent job for us. Yeah, 50 uh, in the 50 points marks every time. So uh, I'll get him back, boys. I, I like him uh, quite a lot. So let's get him back. Actually, 86 overall. No, yeah, let's get him back. Let's get it back. He's good enough, boys. So uh, five years, actually six years, boys. Let's give him uh, a six-year deal at uh, nine point uh so he wants uh nine million i'll just give him the the nine million i guess boys hold on just to make sure he does sign with us 10.8 there we go 10 million for him boys he's gonna be he's gonna have a better contract than kachuk that's kind of crazy all right so uh we do we are gonna need i think unless nolan foot is ready to play i don't know if he's gonna be ready to play i hope he is i mean i've been waiting for him forever so let me anticipate that he is ready to play. So uh, we'll say he is. So we're not going to go for a left winger. We're going to wait that one out. So that's going to be one, two. There we go. And that's about it. So we are going to... Uh, Michelli doesn't want to come back. Okay, then. All right. Well, I'll just release you then. I'm not going to waste uh, you. Okay, let me just release you. You're not worth anything. And you're not worth anything at all as well. So yeah, uh, we have... Two players in the minors. So we're going to need two minor players for the left wing position. Bjorkstrand is going to go ahead and get re-signed, I think. Oh, yeah, I definitely want him back because he's an 88 overall now. Yeah, he's the great player for us. So I want him back, boys, for sure. Uh, how many players do we have? One, two, three. And yeah, that's going to be our fourth player. So Bjorkstrand getting there. Uh, eight years. No, you're going to chill a little bit. Five years, all right? You're going to be there for five years or 88 overall as well. Actually, do I do I give him the maximum amount of deal? Because now because it's going to put him at 38. So if he starts dropping, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and give him three year deal and uh, make sure that he does. There we go. Three year deal, 9.4. Just making sure that he, uh, he doesn't like start dropping like crazy and stuff like that. So we have Patrick Kane. He actually went up a little bit further. So he, he dropped to an 84 at some point, but he went up by an 85. So that's good for us. At least he still got it a little bit, boys. Uh, we got Anderson. So one, two, three right there with our lower lead, which Kovacs still, look at that, lower lead and still only 65 overall. I definitely uh, heard him. I heard it him big time with uh, his growth by playing him right away, boys. I think I did. But uh, all right, so we've got three players. We've got three players in there, I guess so. So we only need one more. We're going to get rid of Lapin. And we're going to get uh, go ahead and sign Z Zetterlin. Yep, we'll sign him. Uh, five years. I'll just give you the maximum amount, I guess. There we go. Just stay there forever, I guess. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're good on the right wing position. De defense now. Defense. What do we have? So one, two, three, four, five five that's our depth defenseman so we got four defensemen right here we're gonna need one defenseman at least and ristolainen is good enough uh top four d-man 86 overall though uh what did he do for us last year two plus 23 two-way defender yes uh, i'll keep him i'll keep him in the team he's good enough boys he is good enough so four years that's uh do two years because three years because i don't want i don't know if you're gonna start dropping so three years at six point uh six point two my god six point two seven five just like that all right so that's pretty much that uh, next up we got 
So that would put us at five goal uh, defensemen. So we already we know we need a, a defenseman for the uh, free agency. We're gonna get rid of Mueller because he's a defensive defenseman. We don't want that in our team, boys. Uh, we want two ways. So this guy right here, don't I don't care. He can stay as long as he wants in our team. So Ekholm, five year, five year deal, and I'll give you uh, three point uh, three twelve fifty. All right, that's how long you're gonna stay. You're gonna uh, stay for the rest of your career with us. So we got a uh, good amount of goalie uh, defensemen uh, in the HL. Uh, we still have Markstrom. Now he's starting to drop. I think thirty five years of age is actually when you start to drop in this uh, in this simulation you start to drop at 35 i believe sign goes here back boys a uh, one-year deal now nah, you you can get there for as many years as you want buddy i just three years i guess i don't uh i don't have any goalies coming in so just stay there and uh we don't have really any other goaltenders so i could play ellison i guess i could uh, i could play him so let's just play ellison boys there we go all right so we do have still trend just in jerry I kind of want to I kind of I want to wait on Markstrom. I want to see if we have a better goal. He's going to start dropping, boys. So uh, I don't know. We're going to wait it out. He's still in the lead. We're, I'm going to get rid of him, get him into the free agency, but we're going to wait and see if we can get ourselves a better goalie than him. If not, we'll bring him back. He's been such a great goalie for us that I I really uh have a good uh like he's got a good place. He's got a place in my heart basically. So uh, there we go. We got our head coach resigned for us, boys. We got uh, our associate coach, uh, or maybe not. Okay, no. So we do not. Associate coach and assistant coach refused. Um, Buffalo Gun doesn't want to. All right. Bunch of play. A bunch of coaches. They don't want to join me. That's great. The only coach that I accepted so far is the goddamn head coach. Well, that's just great, boys. That's. Uh, there we go. We're resigning everybody. Uh, there we go everybody uh, resigning good so everybody accepted except for the coaches for the coaches are being a little bit of a pain right now so let me make sure that they do sign all right let's see more offers for the coaches and stuff so let's see if they're gonna accept hopefully they do i mean i'm paying some of them i'm paying tremendous amount of money for no reason boys i'm paying a lot of money for these coaches so they gotta accept not interested are you kidding me the AHL goalie coach doesn't want to sign with me. Really? I can just get rid of him. You're not that important. Bobic is not going to come back. Okay, man. They don't want to... Really? With all the money I'm offering them, they're just not interested whatsoever. All right. These pieces of shit. I swear, man. Look at these pieces of shit, man. How much money do I need to give you? This shit's ridiculous. Oh, my God. You know what? Uh... Bancroft, why don't you just get the fuck out of my team? All right, we don't need someone like you anyways. You're not good enough. Uh, I really need to sign these guys, though. God damn it, man. Stop refusing. The hell is wrong with you all? Okay, well, Damien Ross is not going to come back, boys. Fuck this guy. Fuck Bobic as well. Fuck all of you. There we go. Fuck all of you. Why don't you go, go fuck all of you? All of you go fuck yourselves. These fucking coaches are annoying. What the hell is wrong with them, boys? Let, yeah, get rid of all of them. I can find better coaches than you. Pieces of shit, man. All of these ungrateful bitches. Unbelievable. They get to play for the best team of the league and they can't... They, they don't want to re-sign. All of these ungrateful bitches. Even Buffalo Gun boys didn't want to come back. What an ungrateful bitch. Unbelievable, these guys. All right, I cannot believe it. All right, well, go find some a uh, job somewhere else where you're going to lose 24-7. Whatever, I guess. All right, let's go find our players right here, boys, in the uh, free agency. Let's go find what we have as an option. We got a plenty of options right here, as you could see. Um, is there a possibility for me to have somebody that could play on the left wing position? I guess, uh, well... We don't need any right wings, right? No, because we do have Patrick Liney. I saw him, right? There's Patrick Liney, which is the biggest free agent uh, pro probably of this year. Uh, really good player, sniper, right? Could be a fantastic player for us. But the thing is, we don't need a right winger. We don't need a right winger. I'm not going to force it this year. And he, can't, uh, he can play on the left wing, but we don't need a left winger. We need a, a center. 
So uh, I don't have anything right now. Yep, I only have a, a set of sinners. That's the only option I've got right now. So let me actually pick that like this. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got as an option, boys. Plenty of options. Good, decent players overall. We do have Nolan Patrick. Could be a great addition to our team, actually. Can still grow as well. E 86 overall. Uh, you never know. It could be a good power uh, player for us. Power forward. Uh, two of fours, I'm not picking those. So I could either go for Patrick Kerfoot at this point. And uh, yeah, I think the only option, real option though, would be to get Patrick. I'm going to get Patrick, boys. He seems like to, uh, to me to be the only real option right here. So I think I'm going to pick him up big time. Let's pick him up. Uh, 24, actually, how much poise does he have? 82 poise doesn't have a lot of poise does he uh we can really do something good with him uh, i want him for a long time so i'm definitely going to give him until it's until 35 years of age right so 37 that would put him uh, seven years would put him at 30 uh, 34 i believe so let's just give him the big time seven year deal at um s nobody was going for him so just give him the big time deal for 6.7 boys just like that there we go uh, give him the big time deal for seven years. So, uh, now we do need a left one year, but two left one years for the miners. That's all we need. So let's see right here. Let's find a left one year for the, the miners, boys. Should be easy enough right here. I'm actually going to go ahead and find some players like these two guys. They can still grow. They could be good for us. I'll, I'm going to get Carrier, boys. He, uh, he's a good, uh, decent player. He's top nine. Yeah, he's a good, decent player, top nine. So we'll, we'll get him uh, for, I guess, five years. We can get him as uh, long as we want. Let's just give him the, for the five-year deal at uh, one, uh, one point. Actually, he's playing in the minors, right? Yeah, he's playing in the minors. So I don't know exactly how long we're going to get uh, for the minors. So let's just give him for one-year deal. Well, uh, all these uh, old-timers, right, we're giving them uh, one-year deals. For the minor uh, minor teams because we don't know exactly if they're going to be good enough. And I'm just going to assign, I guess, uh, Udon's actually a pretty decent player. Uh, there we go. But uh, I'm actually just going to go for Burchisi, boys. Let's go for Burchisi right there and uh, give him a one-year deal. One-year deal, two-way uh, two deal. Yeah, let's just give you the one-year deal, buddy. All right, so that's that. Defense. Now, uh, defense-wise, uh, we got... What do we got? We need one defenseman, boys, and we just had the jackpot. We just saw the jackpot right there. We could have headman on our team, uh, Chitrin, or even Kel McCarr, boys. Either either one of these four players or three players could be great addition to our team. Uh, I don't know. Now, Edmund in one year is going to start dropping. Uh, remember that. One year is going to start dropping, 35 years of age, right? So we might not want to go for this guy. Instead, we might want to go for, like everybody else, we might want to go for Chitrin or Makar, boys, instead, right? Now, who's got the most, boys? Why, why does it not work? Like, I'm, uh, there we go. Why, I don't know why that worked, but Enman, 90 of boys, 85 or 88. All right, well, that's actually really good. Good Lord. What's the difference? 91, 91. I think Kel Makar is the safest bet. I want to go for Kale McCarr, boys. He's an off offensive defenseman. I need to go for him. He's the best option. Yes, Edmund's 92 overall, but he's going to start dropping in one year. Uh, Kale McCarr has still got plenty of years left in him. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to go for him. Uh, Seven-year deal. Yeah, the big-time deal for him. Big-time deal. And we're going to give you uh, 12 million, my guy. We're going to give you the 12 million. Sign with us, buddy. Sign with us. And you're there uh, big time for us. Goalies. All right. Now it's time for uh, to look for the goalies, boys. What do we have? So, okay. So we can either go for Samsonov or Markstrom. And Samsonov, I think I might have to go for him, boys. He's the goalie that just won the cup. Again, uh, he just won the cup. He eliminated us and won the cup afterwards. So uh, he's, he's actually really good. He's in 20 years, uh, 20 years, uh, 28 years old. Yes, he's got some good stats overall. I think... Uh, I want to kind of to go for him. Yeah, even though Markstrom did a lot for us, he's 35 years of age. Going to start dropping, boys. He's going to start dropping. 87 already. 
and we got a better goalie than him so i think uh, samsonov's a better goalie than him uh, i do want to make sure though poise 87 yeah no he's got better poise samsonov uh, we're signing him uh if i sign him for seven year let's put him puts him at 35 years yes uh, i'll sign him in for the 30 for the seven year deal boys at uh, 8.875 nobody's go else going for him so we can afford to not give him too much now i wonder if it's actually going to work or not boys but let's try it out i'm just giving maximum amount of money possible to the coaches so they do accept uh let's just see if it's going to work or not i'm not uh, making any trades you can forget about that happy to join your team there we go we got Thibaut boys so it seems like it is working uh, we got Master Thibault as our associate coach, boys. A player, A plus player. There we go, just like that. Uh, the make up of your roster, except there we go. We got our head coach, the Bauer boys. Um, a minus coach, boys, by the way. There we go. We're going to get these uh, uh, these coaches. There we go. Damien Rost, right? He's joining, but he's going to be our AHL goalie coach. You didn't want to be our assistant coach in the NHL? Well, you're, do you're dropping down to the a a goalie coach, AHL, my guy. Whatever. All right, we're getting what we want right here. All right, let's see what we got. Sasaki, there we go. We got him as well. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of even stronger uh, coaching staff right there, boys. Even stronger coaching staff. Uh, William Carrier is joining our team. Burchisi as well. There we go. And uh, next stop, we got Kel McCarr and Neolin Patrick and Samsonov. All of them accepted. There we go. Now, if you take a look at our coaching staff, OP as hell, boys. OP uh, coaching staff. Look at that. A plus, A plus, A minus, B minus. Jordan was the weakest one. The Bauer, A minus for the, uh, the AHL. There we go. B, C, B. Wow. Now that's a coaching line right there. That is 19 million we're paying the staff. Doesn't matter. All right. It doesn't matter whatsoever. I'm paying them how much, how many I can. Because right now, I'm not saving anything else, boys. I'm just going all out, all berserk on them. All right, we're getting, uh, we have Cal uh, Kale McCarr now. So that's uh, fantastic. We should be able to really do some big time damage. Time to take a look at our roster, boys. What does it look like? Do we have to make any trades right ever, right away because of players or young players? I don't know. Uh, Jack Hughes, Abby Bullen, Patrick, uh, Achins, Gujro. Don't think, uh, no, I don't want you in there. Hold on. We're going to make sure that uh, we do know who we want, I guess, in... Uh, as our main uh, depth forward and stuff like that. Uh, let's go for his uh, left winger. So Kachuk, there we go. Ehlers, Brat, and Burchisi. Okay, so Nolan Foot wasn't ready. So I could have gotten myself, like I could have had uh, a, a good left winger. I could have went for it. Uh, unfortunately enough, Nolan did not grow, uh, grow boys. But I was expecting him to grow, and since he's a 79 or a 78 overall, he might as well play, boys. All right, I need him to play. He's gonna have to grow eventually, he's gonna have to play for us. So, uh, if he wasted my time, I was expecting him to grow. He's gonna play this year. I don't have a choice. I'll play, I'm playing you, buddy. Uh, right winger, we got Bjorkstrand. There we go. Pugliarvi, we don't have anybody else. Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, forwards. We need a depth forward right here just for the injuries. Uh, we are going to take, I guess, Burchisi. Yeah, let's just take Burchisi. He's going to be our depth, uh, uh, our depth forward. Defense, one, two, three, four, five, six. And Mercar even grew already, boys. He's at 89 overall, so six and seven. We got all of our defensemen. Fantastic. And we also have Simpsonov, there we go, and uh, Tristan Jerry in, in the minors, there we go. So we uh, we have a pretty decent team. Now, weaker, we are weaker in the left wing position. Uh, that's fine, I guess. We'll uh, figure it out. I Don't uh, don't worry about, uh, about it too much, boys. Definitely figure out the right system, I guess, and stuff like that. So now Patrickin did start uh, dropping again. So now he's a top nine, exact top nine. Yeah, he's going to start dropping like crazy during the year. That is fine though, I guess. Uh, let me do the, uh, the lineups really quick. So this is going to be our lineup for next year, for the next video at least, uh, for when we're going to start the simulation for the sixth year. Uh, it's going to be Nikolai Ehlers in the first line. That's right, he goes from the third line, third line to the fourth, uh, to first line. 
Uh, I need him. I thought I would play Kachuk on the first line with uh, Jack Hughes, but actually not. Uh, I'm looking this year to get the ones that have the... Look, last year I was looking at the poise, but this year I think I'm going to be looking at the end high more than anything else. Uh, I'm going to put Ehlers with Jack Hughes and Patrick Kane in the first line. Uh, Patrick Kane is going to play like an 87 at the beginning of the season at least. All right, good enough. And he's uh, 90. He's got 90 of end high, really. Uh, even though I think, you know what? No, better. There we go. Bjorkstrand, there we go. That's much better. So with Bjorkstrand instead, boys. Much better, uh, just like that. So he's going to be playing with Bjorkstrand. Uh, Patrick Kane with Nolan Patrick and uh, Keith Kachuk. Or Matthew Kachuk. I, I keep saying Keith, boys. Uh, now, the, uh, two, two, two power forwards playing with a sniper. Now, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting, boys. I don't know exactly how that's going to work. But uh, we got uh, Jesper Bratt, Abby Bullen, boys. Our big time a sniper, uh, elite sniper. Playing with uh, another power forward right there. So that's a really good uh, combination, right, with Vertanen and, so, and all. Uh, Nolan Foot, newly addition for this year, is a uh, rookie year. It's going to be playing with uh, Hutchins and Pugliarvi, boys. And uh, in the defense wise, we got Gostich Beer. Uh, Kel McCarr, boys, our newly addition. There we go. With uh, Smith and Hamilton playing together as well. Now, Smith could, have, uh, could still grow, but he's not really growing that much, I, I swear. Not growing that much, but anyways, we got Gustafsson and Ristolainen as well. All right, Ristolainen playing on the third duo because he's he's worse for wear in end eye position than Doug Hamilton. Doug Hamilton produces more boys. Uh, Samsonov and Jerry this time around in the uh, the Nets. Uh, we're gonna have a pretty decent season, I feel like. I don't know if we're gonna have uh, as good as a season as last year. If we're starting bad, I'm definitely gonna do and go for a trade right away. Uh, what I want to end up doing, right, is I want to have the best chance possible to win the cup, right? I want to win the cup at this point. I'm tired. After five years of re uh, of of uh, simulation, you want to win the cup at that point, all right? So let's just uh, uh, stop it for now. I'm going to see you guys for uh, the next video. Remember to do the like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.